Hello everybody, it's your girl Imani P. Wait, why'd I start off with that? Hey everybody, it's your girl Imani P from the DMV. You already know where I'm at, you already know where I'm be. And welcome to my channel, Imani Versus, where I talk about music, culture, and more. Or welcome back to my channel, Imani Versus, where I talk about music, culture, you know, and more, you know. So today we're gonna be talking about another beautiful black artist by the name of Ryan Destiny and my quarrels with her. So first of all, I just wanna ask like, what are you doing, Ryan? What are you doing? Anyway, for those of you who don't know, Ryan Destiny is an American singer, dancer, actress, and songwriter from Detroit. Just playing, it, she's from Detroit. But like they call, like back in the day, they used to call Detroit, Detroit. I'm not from there, so I don't know what they call it now, poor. Oh, that was mean. I'm just playing. She is best known for her role as Alexander Train on Star that used to come on Fox. I think Lee Butler, what's his name? I don't know, that guy that's like Tyler Perry, but he's not Tyler Perry because he used to be on crack. That guy, he's the one that made Star and she was the lead role in that TV show and it got canceled recently. Everybody's mad about it. I ain't never watch it. I don't like shows like that. It looked too dramatic for me and it was kind of cheesy, like how Empire looked. But you know, I ain't never watch it, so I ain't gonna say nothing. You can attack me if you want to for not watching. I don't give a fuck. So my beef with Ryan is not like her acting career or nothing. It seems like she's gonna have that under wraps no matter what because she's beautiful and she has the skill that is allowed for her to act well. She's on Grownish now. I haven't watched Grownish since like season three because it's cheesy and the story sucks, but you know, that's another video, right? My beef more has to do with like her music career. Like, what is up with these like brown, like dark skin artists like this that look like me and their music career? Let me just get into it because she, She's falling for the Normani illness. I call it the the more no, no more illness. The nor I don't know. So in 2018, Ryan Destiny actually dropped like her first ever solo song. Cause if, for those of you who didn't know, Ryan Destiny came on the scene as like a teenager, and I think she used to be in a group called the group was called Love Dollhouse. That was what it was called, and it consisted of her and these two other chicks, and they had like maybe one or two songs and they weren't very popular and it kind of fell off after that. So she finally like released her first solo song in 2018. Um, it's called The Same and it garnered somewhat of some attention just because of the music video of her and her Aaliyah influence in the music video. And just the fact that she finally like dropped a song because we know she does music. Like, Cause apparently when you want like a Fox show like Star or like Empire, you can't drop your own music until like you're either off the show or the show ends. So the show finally ended and it was time for her to shine. It was time for her to shine. So for those of you who don't know, the song the same. I wrote about it on my music blog, coolnagame.blog. The song is about just a toxic relationship and she has an original version and she has a version with Toby Lou. I like the original version better. Sorry, Tobias. And like I said, it really garnered a lot of attention because of the Aaliyah influence. It was very one in a million Aaliyah, except for they were wearing all black. It was beautiful. I really loved it. I wrote about it on my blog. I listened to that song every day that entire year. It was great. I loved it. So then two years later, I think in 2020, she dropped another song called Do You. And that song didn't get a lot of attention. The song was very much mid with like a side of mid sauce. Like the song wasn't that good. I wrote about it on my blog page because I really want to support Ryan Destiny. But like she dropped her first solo song in 2018 and then two years later she's dropping another song. And then between those years, she's not really doing anything. She was on Grownish. But if you want to go listen to that song, go ahead. It's about being petty and just being a petty girl. And I know y'all be petty bitches out there. So when I wrote that blog post in 2020, it was rumored that she was going to drop a project last year as well. So I was like, finally, some like a, a, a whole listing of musica for us, for the girls, for the Imanis out there. It's 2021, it's April, and there hasn't been crickets since. 
And my issue with, uh, I'm about to call her Normani because she is, she has normal illness, nor illness, nor, nor. Just like her friend Normani, like she just be sipping that don't want it, okay? So I don't really know much about Ryan's situation. I did all the research I could, but I couldn't really find much about her situation. You know, her and Normani are friends and they be sipping that same drink that don't want it. She doesn't have like a super real presence on social media other than t dropping her occasional model photos. She's a very beautiful woman. Um, she's not on TikTok and the girl can dance and she's on TikTok dancing or making up dances or just being beautiful. She's barely on Instagram. She barely talks on Twitter except for that one time where she was like, when I drop music, I hope y'all support my music just as much as y'all support my photos. Girl, can you drop 10 songs? Can you drop a project so people can support you? Like you give nobody a chance. And the only thing that I really know about Ryan Destiny, like when it comes to her music career is that she signed to Capitol Records. And I don't know much about Capitol Records. I've heard of them in the past. Um, but you know, if you're gonna go by my parents, all record labels are evil. When she dropped that tweet, I looked at it and I was like, girl, like you don't even, you don't have no project out. You drop a song every like three or four years. You don't have no real social media presence. You're not on TikTok for the little girlies and little boys to look at you. You're not doing anything. You're not even using the fact that you're absolutely beautiful to get people to come to your page. Even when you dropped that song, Do You in 2020, the only thing I saw was that you did an Instagram live for like an interview and that's it. You barely talk about that song. I barely saw that song pushed everywhere. Like your record label is supposed to push your song if they really want to push you. Maybe you should move on. I don't know, girl. And you should be pushing your music too. Like, why aren't you even trying to post about your songs? Why aren't you making up a dance to it? Why aren't you singing? Like, I barely see you around, girl. It's for you to try to place blame on your fans. It's not your fans fault, it's you. And I hate when people be doing that, like mad artists be doing that. They be dropping one song, or they drop one album like six years ago and be like, nobody is supporting me. Girl, did you even tell anybody? Did you even try? Did you make a TikTok dance? Did you change record labels? Did you do anything? This ain't 2002, girl, it's 2021. Use social media, put it everywhere. Stuff it down our throats. I want to choke on your music. I want to choke. I want to die. That was too much. In conclusion, I I I just want artists like Ryan Destiny, and you know, if you want to see my Normani video, like I'll link it below. But artists like them, like just win on these pop and R and B charts. I want to see her win because I want to see more women that look like me on these charts, and they're dominating. Like, I don't know if it's you, Ryan. I don't know if it's your your record label. I don't I don't know your situation because there's not a lot of information out there. But I really think that you should at least try to stuff your music down our throats. Drop a little four song EP, five song EP. You know, try to do something, girl. Like, you can do it. Uh, you have people out here that are waiting to support you. You have people out here that will just listen to you just because you are beautiful and you're unproblematic. Use that to your advantage. Like, anyway, thank you for watching this video. I know it's a little short, but you know, Ryan Destiny doesn't have a lot out there. You know, I love the fact that she's unproblematic. We need that. We don't have a lot of that out there. Um, make sure you like and comment and subscribe and share this video and comment below. I'll link some of my blog posts in the description about Ryan Destiny and my video about Normani in the description. And I'll see y'all soon, cause I's that girl.